Hey guys, Justin here. I want to talk to you today about my 2000 Impreza that I've built over the years. Uh, kind of give the origin story about the car, where it started, the path of the modifications, and kind of where it is today. So uh, I started with that car in 2006. And I purchased the car from an old gentleman up in Wisconsin. He'd used it for like a daily driver, drove it year round, even in the winter, um, but he'd always taken really good care of it, only taking it on fair weather days and stuff like that. And uh, I made an offer to him to pick up the car. Um, so I did, I purchased it, brought it back down. And my intent with that car was to build it from the very beginning. Uh, it had no 5 STI and I wanted to do the GC chassis if I was gonna do a build rather than the GD chassis, just cause I liked the styling, the two door, you know, the, the GC chassis just appealed to me. So I decided that that's kind of what I wanted to do. So I got the car, um, right away started modifying it, just doing basic stuff, uh, you know, lights, cleaning it up, changed about easy parts. And then uh, the first big purchase I ever did with the car was I bought a wrecked STI. So I buy a 2005 uh, STI that was crashed from Oklahoma City. And a buddy of mine and I went down, picked it up, brought it back up. We took this crashed STI and I stripped it all the way down, took everything out of it I wanted. Um, you know, the harness, the axles, the brakes, the hubs, everything like that. So we get it all stripped down, all the parts out of it. And then uh, I sell off what I'm not using to try to recoup uh, my investment. And then I take the RS all the way apart. All the drivetrain comes out of that car. So I take the STI stuff and I just start swapping it in one piece at a time. Um, you know, we end up doing the gas tank, the axles, the hubs, the brakes, um, suspension, the cross members, all of the uh, emissions equipment, like the, the charcoal canister and everything, the ABS pump, the ABS lines, everything like that. We all, we all swapped all that in. Um, and then after that, I sent the harness out to a friend to have it merged. This is before iWire. Uh, now I really use iWire for most of my stuff, but back then I had a friend that did it for me. And uh, we get the harness merged and I bring that back in, install the harness, get the car running, uh, get everything done. And I had that car uh, running fully functional on the stock ECU with the DCCD system, the emissions, everything, stock, stock tune with no check engine lights, just to make sure that the car was sound. So I drove it like that for a while and then you know we started adding parts to it from there. Um, I think the next step then was to start getting the power parts onto it. So I do like a DOM3, um, upgraded fuel system, you know, all the basic bolt-ons. And the car kind of snowballed at that point. It kind of had fun with the stock location turbos and just kept growing from there and adding horsepower. And uh, now uh, the car has a built engine uh, from Outfront Motorsports. It's a closed deck with uh, half inch head studs. And it has a 05 STI transmission, the original, that now has a long ratio gear set in it and IAG output shaft. It has upgraded axles. Uh, the brakes have been upgraded. Uh, I also have the upgraded turbo. For, it's an FP0. Um, and then, you know, everything else, like styling wise, is all kind of like original, like version six styling. And I tried to collect as many like unique and rare parts that I could over the years. Kind of like those little trinkets that people have that, you know, they're they're hard to get and acquire and sought after. So I've got like the STI door sills, uh, the 280 kilometer hour gauge cluster, DEFI gauges that are in the car that were discontinued uh, about 20 years ago. And there's just a lot of little GC artifacts in that car that I've collected over the years. And it's now just kind of a showpiece. And every once in a while, I'll take it out and race it and have fun with it. But for the most part, it just kind of sits around and we all enjoy looking at it and having fun with it. 